Hey there, I'm Natasha Antonioni. I'm a realtor here in Austin, and if you're kind of curious about all things hip, cool, happening, family, and design related in Austin, stick around and don't forget to live your dream already. So here we are at the beautiful Maddie's built in the 1800s. What makes Maddie's so incredible is kind of the backdrop of this historical, beautiful home that has hosted a bunch of families as a personal residence. But today it is a restaurant Wednesday through Sunday in the evenings with Saturday and Sunday brunch and an amazing farmer's market. What I love about it is you can be in this outdoor, beautiful setting with these hundred year old oak trees and the kids can be running and playing so the adults can actually enjoy their meal. They recently had a renovation and what makes it so special is the contrast of the modern minimalism with the old world charm. What's so amazing about this neighborhood is the walkability factor. Look at this sign, healthy streets, streets for people to walk, roll, bike ride and skate. You gotta love it. What's happening in Bolden uh, real estate wise is that you have all these tiny little bungalows that are being either bought up or renovated. And in place of them, because there's such a demand for this neighborhood, they're going up with the houses. So you'll find a lot of these really steep roof farmhouse, modern farmhouses, and many of them have elevators because they're so tall. Lots of three stories in the area. So let's check out some houses that are up for sale in the neighborhood, including Elijah Woods Austin home. At 608 Mary Street, it's up for 1.85 million, four bedroom, four and a half bath, and man, did he do a beautiful job renovating this one. We also have 800 West Mary Street, that's on the market uh, at 2.375. And then just around the block, we're at 403 West Monroe Street, it's unit A. This really unique styled architecture home goes for 1.29. I love this 907 West Johanna Street. I like the way that they use the brick against the Borden Batten modern farmhouse look to give it a little bit of that old world meets the new world. I recently sold this beautiful house on Annie Street to dear friends of ours from California and they are loving, loving living in this neighborhood. They literally went from a multi-acre property to this smaller parcel, but with an elevator and lots of walkability. It almost feels like city living, but you still get all the nice green mature trees. Coming up on Thai Fresh, I love this spot. It reminds me of the East Village like 20 years ago. The food is off the charts, delicious with high, high quality organic ingredients. Roadhouse Relics. Todd Sanders is the neon artist. He makes these neon signs that you'll find all over town and he makes them look antique, but they're actually custom made by him. Let's go inside. And here he is, Todd Sanders himself. Hello. Tell us about how you got inspired. Well, I just um, wanted to be an artist and didn't have the confidence to be an artist, so I went into sign making. I fell in love with the vintage signs and um, started a company making vintage commercial signage. Awesome. And then met a beautiful girl from Canada that came here and I was telling her one day that my dream was to be an artist and she encouraged me to go for it. And so I turned what I was doing for commercial signs into just pop art. So what would your advice be to people 
that have a dream, but maybe they're afraid to go for it? I would say uh, to, to just go for it. To find something you truly love because you're going to suffer for a few years. Try to keep your bills low. Yes. And um, you probably have to put your life on hold a little bit, but at the end of it, the whole thing, you'll, it'll all pay off. When you, when you see yourself as an older person and you look back on your life, are you proud of what you did? I am. I really am. It, it, took, it took a lot of uh, big chances for me to, to, to do this. And I kind of put my 20s and 30s off and, and lived in a trailer in the backyard. But, you know, I finally made it work. Even if it doesn't pay off and money-wise, there's something about just living your dream that um, it's, it's worth it to me. Even if this wasn't working financially, I'd still be doing it because it makes right. me happy. So are, are there any like really famous people that you made signs for that you're really excited about? Yeah, I've, uh, I've got to meet a lot of celebrities. Um, that Some of them have collected many of my works. Uh, the one I really love the most is Willie Nelson. Um, he's got six of my pieces. All right. So he's, he's been very good for me and good to me. They've been good for Nice. Him. And Billy Gibbons of ZZ Top is the other. Amazing. True gentleman. Yeah. Here we are approaching Bolden Creek Cafe, a staple in Bolden Creek. And here we're passing Polvos, some of the best margaritas you can find in this town. nice about Bolden Creek is that you're literally right next to downtown. You get these cutie little shops along South First, but you're literally in line's sight of downtown. Lenoir is in this super cute little bungalow that has a really unique design inside, and the whole thing that they're about is about sourcing exclusively from the Texas community of farmers and food artisans who provide incredible produce, meat, and cheese. And the menu changes with the season and the wine selection does as well to complement the food. So every time that you come in, it's really a delight for the senses. It's also got this really lovely backyard wine area to meet a friend for drinks or to have a glass of wine before your meal. And here we are coming up on Sway, which is right next door to Elizabeth Street Cafe. Sway is an award-winning modern Thai restaurant. It was voted by Bon Appetit one of the 50 top best new restaurants in America. It's also got this super fun uh, atmosphere, beautiful architecture, super modern, and shared eating. So it's always a table of 10. And if you go there on a date, you'll be sitting with eight people you haven't met before, or you can come with a party of 10 and own the table. But it's always lively, always fun, and if you like spicy Thai food, this is the place to be. And here we are at Elizabeth Street Cafe. They have noodles, banh mi, and it's a boulangerie. They have hibiscus paloma cocktails, non-alcoholic shrubs like pineapple, cilantro, or ginger peach. Of course, they have amazing banh mi's and all different varieties from crispy pork belly to flank steak to lemongrass, tofu, and mushroom. It's always packed. You'll usually have a wait. They have bar seating, uh, diner style. They have lovely outdoor tables as well. If you're looking for a nature recharge, make sure to check out the West Bolden Creek Greenbelt and the East Bolden Creek Greenbelt as well.